folks. Last time we left off, this wasn't Johansson, it was Ash Rivers. Um, after all the trouble I went through to get you out, you got caught. You. It ruined my face. The fire. I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. Uh, I bet it will. Keep your voice down. I wouldn't talk so they burn me. Again. And again. And again. Their eyes, they... They enjoyed it. Before they come back, I'm begging you, let me out. Hmm. I got something that might help you heal up a few of those wounds. I once drank from the most desirable women in the world. Right now, this bag looks better than any of them. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Um, I can probably open it. Oh, I can't open it. Did get a humanity, though. That's good. At the expense of a blood pack. Um, yeah, can't do that yet. So I have to find a key. I have to find a key for that. We'll come back, though. Maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game here, just in case uh, I mess something up with getting that key. I'll just save it as key, because it'll have to get a key, unless I get some points enough to get another level of security. Alright, let's get our uh, sniper rifle back out. I think I killed all the people. Oh, no, I didn't. See, are there any explosives that I can uh, detonate? Nope. See where that's coming from. Oh, there, surely. I don't know where that's coming from. It's stuck or something. Don't want to go too near that. I'm going to blow this up before it blows me up. No idea where that's coming from. There he is. I think that boat is actually the way out of here. Back to sneaking. Oh, 
Oh crap, trance. I need some, I need some healing beds, so I'm gonna trance him. That'll do a lot of, that'll heal me quite a bit. key is. Alright, thank you. Still don't know where the key is. I see something over there? No. I imagine you have to go feat, defeat the boss character of this area. And then the key will be around there. Johansson will be there, and I bet in the same office there will be a key, and you can go release Ash Rivers. I wouldn't want to bend him getting sitting there tortured. Alternatively, if I get enough experience points, I can just uh, get my lock picking up, and then I can go blood buff and get it open. I knew Johansson would do us a service to Satan, but I set his head as a hard thief himself. Where is the coin? Uh, you're wasting your time, your breath, mortar. I'll drain your body. LaCroix, you think LaCroix would come here alone? I have when LaCroix runs out of minions, he will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it. Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? Uh... Know your place, Mortar, and come and bow in front of me. You should have begged for God's mercy. I will show you not. You'll be begging me to kill you after I rip out your guts, nor I you. Okay, well, we're going to set up our blood shield here. And we're going to get our blood boil. Where is he? Jeez. Okay. Oh, crap. Darn it. Ah, get... When it's loading, I can't... Get When it's loading, I can't, uh... Ah. That's stupid, I can't get out of the... Uh... Let me out of there. Alright, we're switching to this gun. I need to just run up to him. Yeah. I need to just run up to him. Yeah. I need to just run up to him real quick and uh, blood purge him. And then either auto shotgun him or auger him. Yeah. We'll save. Uh, We'll definitely save next time before we, uh... Before we get to, uh, that point next time, we'll definitely save. If it's reloading it and you're in, uh, and you're in... Zoom mode, like, you can't get out of it. So you have to be real quick on the draw. Like, you shoot, press the tab to get out of it, 
Otherwise, as you're doing loading animation, even though you can't even see it, it, uh, it won't let you out of it. And then it makes it kind of hard to move or tell where you're going or where you need to go. Now, I know there's guys up there. Yeah, so next time, I'm just going to run straight up at him. I know there's another guy up there. Yeah, the best thing to do is just run straight at him. Get to the point where you can uh, blood purge him. I know there's another guy up here somewhere. Maybe. There he is. We'll go to uh, the auto shotgun. We will get our uh, blood shield ready. I probably should have done that before anyway, but that's okay. Get we got blood boil there. Get blood purge. Blood boil won't kill him, and it's not quite as useful when it won't kill him. It just uses a lot of. I mean, it does a fair amount of damage, but blood purge is far more useful in, in this uh, boss situation because Blood Purge will cause him to stop doing stuff, and while he's not doing anything, he's going to get about a million rounds of shotgun ammo right in his face. Haha, you missed. You suck. I knew your hunting would do a preserve of the safety. But I set this head for the arch fiend himself. Where is the coin? The arch fiend. Uh give me Johansson, I'll let you live. Come take him if you can. You have no idea how stupid standing in my way can be. Alright, get out my... Not that one. Oops, so I lost my blood shield. Where are you? shield before I go in there because you will you will get screwed if he sees that you are a vampire you are you're toast didn't get any experience point yet points yet 
I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go! Shut up! Tell me what you know about the Incar and Sarcophagus. Dr. Johansson? I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. Uh... There's a boat not far from here. Help me and I'll help you escape. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anything, just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> Tell me what you know about the Incarnate Sarcophagus. The Sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the Sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? Um, I dealt with them. They're all dead. They won't give us any problems. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you will help me escape. Sure. All right. Where should I begin? Uh, what can you tell me about the sarcophagus? Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? Uh, no. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Uh... Go on. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt. But uh, I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. Go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 B.C which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Oh, is that right? Please continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Mesarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like uh, Dracula or something. Oh, really? And what is that to describe? It's hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserat could remain in, uh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Hmm, sounds like an ancient. Was he a vampire? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth. And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Which is? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. Huh. <laughs> so Meserach drank human blood. Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents. Don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. Oh, really? Uh, 
What else do you know about vampires? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. Mm-hmm. How did you find the Ankaran sarcophagus? Uh, that is, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. I'm interested, please go on. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Sounds like you're hiding something, care to share? I don't know what would make you believe that. I have been very forthcoming with you so far. I <laughs> think that maybe you are not as familiar with the process as me. Mm. Well, I probably just didn't have a high enough persuasion or intimidate role to get the information out of him. Never mind, do you really have Mesrocked? Is inside the sarcophagus? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you, it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. <laughs> so how does the uh, sarcophagus open? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it? It's perplexing. Uh, a key. Well, that makes sense. Do you have it? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Good luck with that. Do you have a copy of the key? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Uh. Alright, I'll free you. There's a boat nearby. Maybe we can escape on it. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. No problem. <laughs> so we'll help him escape. Um. This video has already gone too long, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and when we come back, we will see if we can't rescue Ash Rivers as well. See you then, folks. See you then.